Hello guys and welcome. Today we're gonna see another tutorial about JavaScript. It is the JavaScript functions. Believe me, JavaScript functions are like bacon. Saying your friends came with ingredients, I call them inputs, and he asks you to tell him how to bake a cake. Then you tell him the instructions, you give him the instructions, and this could be more than three lines. Then your friend does the instructions and he gets the cake. The cake here is the output. But what if your friend came back again with different ingredients and he asks you to tell him how to make the cake? So you don't have to tell him all the instructions again. You just have to say bake is the function and then your friend takes the ingredients do the instructions again and then he bake the cake the bake here with a parentheses is the function it has instructions inside a code and then our friend is the computer now let's go and see how to create a function in JavaScript to create a function in JavaScript there is three ways the first is the function declaration, the second is the function expression, and the third is the function constructor, and we don't go through that, because we don't really have to use it. The function declaration, we say function keyword, then the function name. Here the function name could be letters, the dollar sign, the underscore, and numbers but it can't start with a number so we say function name then the parentheses then we open the curly brackets and we type our code inside for the function expression we just say function then the parentheses then the curly brackets and the code inside so here the function has no name so this is called also an anonymous function. So to call this function later or to invoke it, we have to set this function to a variable. So we say variable, for example, x equals the anonymous function. Now for the function expression, we add a semicolon at the end because this is an executable statement. But for the function declaration, it's not an executable statement, so we don't add the semicolon. Now to invoke or call the function. For the function declaration, we type the name, so here's the function name, then the parentheses, and then the semicolon. To call the function expression, we type in the variable name, then the parentheses also, and then the semicolon. Now a function has parameters and arguments. When we create a function, when we declare a function, we say function func name. Then inside the parentheses we can put these names p1, p2 and p3 called parameters. Then inside the color brackets we type in our code. So P1 and P2 and P3 here are parameters and they are names. But when we invoke the function or call the function, we say func name then 12 string true. For example, this is just an example. Now 12 and string and true, these called arguments. They are real values. For example, if we have a function odd that adds two numbers and allows them, A and B are parameters. But when we call the function add, here we say add one, two. So one and two, they are values and we call them arguments. And so when we call this function in our browser, we will get something like this. Now we're gonna see the return keyword. Let's say we have a function add. It takes two parameters, then the first line returns A, the second we initiate the variable C with A plus B 
and then we return C. When we call the function odd using the arguments 5 and 10, this will return 5, not 15. Why? Because the line here, execute, and the execution stops after returning the value of A. Then, these two lines here won't execute. So the return statement here returns a value from the function and then stops the execution of that function. So any code after the return will not execute. Now let's talk about the JavaScript function scope. Let's say we have a variable y equals 3 and the function called func1. Inside it we have a variable x equals to 2 and then it returns y plus x. Above the y variable is defined outside the function and the x is inside the function. Here the variable y is defined outside the function. We call it a global variable and the variable x here is defined inside the function so we call it a local variable. And this will return 5. When we call the function, it will return 5. This means that the function has access to the global variable and the local variable at the same time. Saying we have another function, func2, that returns y plus x. When we call this function, it will return error, x is not defined. So here, y is a global variable, so this function has access to it. So the y, it is defined, and it equals the tree. But for the x variable here, it is not a global variable, it is a local variable for the function 1. So function 2 has not access to this local variable. That's why it says it's not defined. So, global variables can be accessed by all the scripts, all the functions in our code. But local variables are accessed by only the functions that define them. Now guys, this is a lesson about functions in JavaScript. To do the practice, I'll see you guys in the next video.